I always find this incredibly entertaining that look, we're actually starting to win a cultural victory already and that's just like evenly across everybody. It's lovely. Lovely. We've got different religions, we've got different governments to maybe a couple of people and I haven't really bothered getting open borders of anybody but you know what? It's all good. Just like 175 tourism without really trying. That's more tourism than anyone has in culture. So already I'm at the position where if I start actually sending trade routes to people and actually getting open borders, which I'm going to do now, we can start to crack into that one. I'm also now going to get Vissel Banken. I hadn't really bothered beforehand, but especially with my capital, now I'm going to just start to sort of trade with people. Now, Dido, I really want to be um, allied with her. She's not allowing it, unfortunately. Rome, on the other hand, Rome is. So we can do this. Why is uh, I found my actual trade route to Rome? God, Rome is rubbish. Look at it. Look at it. For a capital, I think that has one campus and that's it. I mean, honestly, they've even put a farm on their coal. Come on, Rome. It's embarrassing. I'm actually just now flooding Rome with trade routes just so that I can, like, just make them respectable, you know? Come now. But why, why does everybody hate me? Allied with enemy is a consistent thing. I think, unfortunately, I might have chosen a really bad enemy, uh, ally, I should say, in, in Alexander. He doesn't even dislike many people. Rome might be a problem as well. Um, I think I can, if I get open borders and embassies and things, I can start to convince a couple of people to like me. Like, Sweden is a good example of somebody who really shouldn't dislike me. Especially if I give her, like, a couple of gifts. Like, yeah, we go, she'll like me now. I'm also going to trade three copies of luxuries to France because I think she'll love that. She'll absolutely love that. There we go. You see, look, she loves it. She loves luxuries. Absolutely lovely. Only three, though. So we've got to do a bit more work on her. There we go. Sweden's on side. Woohoo! So with somebody, and actually, a religious alliance with them helps in case anybody sends me any of their religion. I mean, I know, I know we've had some missionaries from Sweden, but I think she might have learned her lesson. I say. I say that with no authority whatsoever. She probably hasn't. Here's Pella, and look, there's a wonder here, but again, the AI's capital is only five population. There's been a lot of capitals with very little uh, ability to grow here. Actually, Dido's doing alright with 11 pop capital. Don't think I've met Sweden's capital just yet, but I will just throw them an embassy so I can have a look at it. Stockholm, 8 pop. Again, not huge. Not huge. And France's capital is somewhere in there. Somewhere in that mess. Two more lovely cities in my Vatican Empire. There's number one. I get the points for the Gobastan. And number two, I also get points for Gobastan. Baltimore and Charleston, yes. These famous papal cities. Oh, that's a nice plus five over there. I think that means this will probably be a plus five as well. Gobastan's brilliant, look at that. Oh, don't you love it when you just randomly find city-states? It's like, there's Hattusa. Hello. I'm still selling all of my strategics basically to the highest bidder. I don't need them. Don't need them at all. This is a very chill, peaceful game. We've only got 176 military strength. We're just enjoying ourselves, and more coal and iron means I can sell more of it now, actually. That's pretty cool. What I'm really hoping is that Auckland appears. I love Auckland in this game, and the extra production from all of the oh, coastal Lewis. tiles would be absolutely ridiculous if we could get our hands on that one. God, this little continent down here is not so little. Mainly snow and uh, tundra. That doesn't matter for the Pope. As long as I've got my holy site down and getting my faith up. 574 faith per turn at the moment, and I haven't even switched to using it on anything that isn't settlers. Like, all I'm doing is buying settlers right now. It's hilarious how one-sided my faith output is. The settler, 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 settler. And again, just focusing on buying my settlers from any city with two population. I keep, like, these poor cities have never grown above one, because every time I hit two, I buy a settler, but then it recharges really, really quickly back to two pop, so it's, it's brilliant. Oh, that's right, I've got the Vatican now. Oh, I can use great people to religion bomb. Oh, that's so much fun when that happens. <laughs> I don't really need it too much because I've got the colonization on at the moment, so whenever I settle, I already have Catholicism on, hence why Catholicism is spread throughout the world so much, but, I mean, that's still pretty cool. The there Colossus is Colossus. I built it in my capital. High. Oh my god, sorry, look how gorgeous my capital is. The artist oh, expended it's so as much pretty. In it. Anyway, I was Seemed building like that because you get a three trade route and a three trader. So it just helps my capital to grow. Visselbanken and the democracy bonuses that you get from Colossus is like six food and six production, just straight into your capital. Like if you had a wonder that gave you six food and six production, you'd be like, yes, absolutely on board with that. That sounds great. So that's literally 
what I'm doing here. I'm just starting to stack up my trade routes of people now. I've got Rome, Sweden, and Carthage. So now I just need to start trading. You know what? I'm going to treat Washington. I'm going to make Washington into a good old trading hub because that can get all the way to France. So I'll send one trader to there. And then maybe I need to figure out where I can trade with Arabia and Scythia. These are my closest cities, either to the north there, or I can continue. Or Philadelphia, actually, would be a great trading hub if... Assuming Alex has a harbour somewhere, which it doesn't look like they actually do at this point, but never mind. Philadelphia is the next place we're going to go. Three Conservationism games. gives me three it's envoys, like but it also gives me access to, to tourism from walls, which has just boosted me above 209. Nice and handy, that one. I've also got a Seador. He will give me some wonder building, which is lovely. Okay, Da Vinci's the next engineer. I've now got my next great writer. I'm still pulling these in at a ridiculous rate. Oh, hello. Oh, the Renaissance. So she actually was only 240. I'm actually going to miss out on a great writer. For the first time in the game, it's decided I've had too many. Unless, unless, somehow, I can pull out of my bag 3,400 gold this turn. Which is unlikely, but I'm going to try. In fact, it's impossible because the AI doesn't have that much gold combined. That's a shame. Well, turns out we're not going to get all of them. But never mind, I'm just going to start building walls and cities that have got spare capacity here. Just looking for cheap wonders that I could build that would be quite handy. I think the Colosseum, actually, in Bologna, would be an amazing pickup. The Kilwar is, is just an insane pickup, so I'm going to pick up that as soon as I can. But a nice Colosseum would actually boost a lot of these cities and give it... Yeah, actually, I quite like that. So, one, two... Yeah, I'm just going to take over these farm tiles in the middle. So we're going to go for an entertainment complex there once the Kilwa is sorted. Two writers went, oh, for goodness sake, come on. Don't do that. I, it literally, it was just like, we've got to give them to anybody else right now. So France and Dido have got great writers. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. It means that basically I just have to look at this tab and go for uh, great works of writing and just see when they pop up. And then as soon as they do, buy them because I don't want anyone else having them because I am a jealous sausage. Kilwa there is, one is the, the Kilwa. This thing is one of the best wonders in the game and if the not the best wonder in the game. Three envoys when built is already pretty good grass, but this city which is my capital gets a 15% boost to the type bonus provided by any city state I'm suzerain of. So if I've got a science suzerain I'll get science. If I've got culture I get culture 15% but also if I'm suzerain of two or more city states of that type I get an additional 15% boost to all of my cities. That's brilliant. It means that when I do this, I think I've got two faith city-states. I've got one culture, two production. Yeah, so I'm going to get in my capital, culture, science, and money, so 15%, and then production and faith. I'm going to get 30% of my capital and 15% everywhere else. So if I just let this cycle through, you can see already 668 faith, 515 culture. The stats do not lie. This is insane. I'm also now settling on this desolate wasteland continent. Why? Because I want to. Because I want to. Sinbad's gone. No! No, Sinbad, what are you doing? Insufficient faith to recall. Oh, I can't immediately do it on the same turn. Terrible. Um, no, I don't want military emergencies. I don't care if you guys have been fighting. We just all want to be friends. The Vatican takes no sides. Oh, I'm also now allied to France, which is wonderful. Let's go for a research alliance. Now, this means that hopefully, slowly, Scythia will decide that they actually really like me. You know, they're, 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 not, they're not confident about that fact at the moment, but I just, I want to be your friend. I will be your friend. Okay, this is what I've been looking forward to. Anne Shan, two science from each great work of writing. One, two, three. Cause sploosh. It doesn't do a huge amount, but it turns my books of writing from something that's ridiculous to something that's even more ridiculous. Look at that, four science per turn. Oh no, hang on, this hasn't even, it hasn't even worked itself out. Hang on, give it a sec. Oh, it's not showing the graphic, unfortunately. It's getting a little bit confused. Never mind, that should be saying four science per turn from each great work of writing. Now, we'll have to just use your imagination. Your imagination. And in the meantime, my capital can just have a little bit of, yeah, bit of fun. Build that for itself. Build a Colosseum in three turns. I mean, sure, four turns now all of a sudden. That seems a bit silly. 
two turns on that, the niche and arsenal in, you know, a few turns after that as well. And then we've got like a zoo, should we build a zoo? There's all kinds of stuff that we can be doing right now, especially if I start trading for some gold for stuff. Yes, 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 lovely, lovely stuff. Now I can get a zoo. Ba-bam! God, it's making all of my city so happy. Just gonna remove Visselbanken briefly, not for a huge amount of time, but briefly because I want Diplomatic League back because I've got five envoys and we need to do some spending. Civilization gains 2% culture for each great person that I've ever earned. That's quite a few. Bam! 840 culture now. That's pretty good. That also uh, meant that Kilbo was giving me its full bonus as well now, so that's really good. Also going to pick Mogadishu back up to get my traders immune to being plundered, but also again, the kill was 15% bonus on the gold, 673 gold per turn now, as well as Mittler giving me city growth for it. I mean, that's pointless, but it just gives me a little bit of extra science, so that's good. Sinbad is back, and he's back to kill some barbs, if I can find where the barbs are. They're all down here, that's good. Coliseum, two culture and loyalty and communities to all cities within Rome six tiles of the Coliseum. It'll be good. It'll be a fantastic one. I think that's five cities got the bonus from there, which is a pretty decent Coliseum. Anything less than five and I the tend not to bother about it, but yeah, it just helps a lot of these central cities, including my capital. Although actually saying that, everything's still deeply unhappy, so maybe not. But hey, there's the great work of writing. It's begun to pop up now. Come on, give them all to me. Dido hasn't actually done anything with their great works yet. I don't actually know, they're just not offering for me to be able to buy them. But I can. I can buy them with a bit of gold. Hang on. All right, there we go. Just traded all of my resources for some gold. And now I can go bam, bam. One, two, three, four, five, six, hundred. I mean, I just don't know why. When they're being all denouncey, they get all funny about trading, but then they do it anyway. So it's like... Make your mind up, please. Just Simbad getting these days. 500 gold for a little thing. I could have just done that, actually, instead of trading away all my resources. Ah, never mind. Another city on the sort of Italy section here. Lovely. Forms an armada out of a military naval unit. Ooh. Okay, actually, I do have a caravel just skulking around somewhere. If I can find where it's gone. Uh, no, there's... Oh, here it is. It's over there. Cool, right. Off you go. Actually, I'm going to go and spread some religion to France at the same time, just to, like... Embrace them into my empire. So that is a themed museum. My first themed museum. Which I'm finally starting to get enough artwork to be able to do that. Curator for my capital. There we go. Extra tourism from my capital. I mean, I, I had enough tourism from my capital as it is. 45 turns away from a culture victory, apparently. I don't entirely believe that that is correct. I think it's probably a little bit less than that, I'd say. If I had to guess. Oh, damn. Literally, I was just on the way to go and settle that little island. Ah, what a pain. Never mind, I can still settle there just to really annoy them. Hang on, how did you get... How did you get writing? Hang on. Hang on, is that is that what I think it is, Arabia? Art of War. Okay, that's that makes sense. I was I was wondering, like, oi, how have you done that? Get get off my get off my people. So, oh, damn. Venetia is just about to get Donatello, which... I, I just, again, all of the artwork, I, I feel like I want it all, so I'm going to actually just buy it all. Um, Rembrandt, actually, I think I've just scuppered them utterly, so I just clicked that into an industrial era artists now. There we go. So now they can't get one. That was a good use of faith. Oh, Sinbad's found some barbs. Hello. Nom, 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 nom. I'm actually getting to the point where settling is proving tricky. Like, where am I going to put my new cities? Where could I go? There's, there's places, but they're all, being frank, kind of terrible. Not that that's going to stop me. Like, I feel like terrible settling places are all kind of part of monumentality, and you just got to keep rushing it, but still. Has Donatello got sculptures? Have I got enough sculptures just yet to get some sort of theming? I've got Michelangelo. Okay, not really, though, so... Okay, we'll just, we'll just continue to burn these into... Nice places. In fact, actually, I'm just working out if I can use my Vatican ability just to be really annoying. Where is it best to pop him to spread some stuff? I'll just go to Los Angeles quickly, especially because, as I said, with France, I'm just going to use Santa Cruz and boom. There we go. Just spread my religion to a couple of cities. Just, uh, just for a laugh. Okay, ideology always takes away limes, which I always find to be a little bit sad when that disappears, but it's okay. Never mind. Um, veterancy is a good, good thing. There's no Valletta in the game. Imagine if Valletta appeared. Goodness me, that would be ridiculous. Um, what else do I want? 
Uh, if I can't find anything, logistics is always a really, really good one. Public works and scripture is still really good. Scripture's given me 75 production through my empire, which is a wonderful thing. Visual banking I always like, but colonial taxes is now beginning to it's getting to the point where it could take over. But I'm not worrying about that too much because I'm just about to go to suffrage and get myself democracy. And I've got a lot more policy cards when I get that one. Right, let's really, really annoy Carthage by settling one city there and one city there. <laughs> oh yes, we love being a pain. Oh, by the way, that puts me on a thousand culture by turn 148. That's um, that's pretty successful. I I like this. This is this has been good. We go just spreading to Nantes now. He <laughs> Oh, my religion's just creeping around. Oh yeah, that's right. Now I can do it in Chicago and just pop the religion over here. Oh, that's really funny. It's There's there, the Venetian armor. arsenal. I haven't really built many boats, Happy but if I wanted city. to. Now I can build them twice as fast. Combined with the military policy card that gives me 100% production, that's four times as many boats. One of the best wonders in the game if you're going for domination, or if you just need a quick defensive no split. But democracy is what it's all about now. The thing I like about democracy, well there's a few things I like about democracy, the plus four food and production is amazing on the trade routes. Combined with Thistle Bank and you get six food, six production, as well as 0.5 extra alliance points every turn for having those trade routes up. It makes a huge, huge difference. It also has another diplomatic policy card as well as another wild card. And, and if that wasn't good enough, New Deal is one of the best cards in the game. 20 housing and 10 amenities in your biggest cities. That makes your capital and like your four or five best cities, like as a default, just insanely good. So always worth it if you can pop one out. Colonial taxes, like 21 production, 45 uh, gold. I'm gonna pick that up quickly. Colonial offices might be a good one if I was gonna continue settling around, but I'm thinking now, I'm actually going to pick up frescoes. Artist points per turn. Now I've only got five art museums and I'm already getting like 25 points per turn so that's not actually going to make a huge difference so maybe I won't get that, maybe I won't. Also when was the last time you saw a five year plan card with only one production gain from it? I have done so little campuses and so little industrial zones this game it is ridiculously funny. Raj, yeah I'm going to go for colonial offices, let's just stack up on those multipliers for the cities that are on different continents which is like pretty much all of my cities. <laughs> Like, it's doing really, really well. So actually, these are all going to grow. They're all more loyal. Actually, it also means I can go and settle over here and I might have a bit more success doing it as well. I've got Rome. I've got Alex. I've got France. I've got Sweden. I've got Cairo. I've got Dido. Is there anyone I'm missing? One, two, three, four. I mean, it feels like that's all of them, but I might be missing one. No, it's Tamiris. I don't have a trade route with Tamiris. Okay. There's got to be a good trade route I can do with Tamira, surely. Yeah, there's loads. Washington. Oh, the problem is because of all of these American names, I lose track of who's who. Washington. Washington can try. Okay. Well, there we go. That's oh, there we go. That's actually a really good trade. Let's do that. Let's get Washington to trade over. Also managed to pick up Himiko again, so she's got another bunch of charges to use to go and find some city states that aren't my friends, and make them my friends. Hattusa and Singapore, I think, are good pair of options. Mahanjadaro as well. A bit more culture per turn. That would be nice. Or Yerevan. I could send them over to like Yerevan to get myself the extra bonus on. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's send her over in this direction. She works best uh, where you're doing it on city-states that you already have suzerainship of and you're just using it to, to build that up because then you get the extra faith per turn each time you do it. And also Donatello is just causing chaos by spreading his religion everywhere. <laughs> Oh, when Sinbad finds just a bunch of really weak barbs, it's like, yes, please. Oh, you're going to be my friends. So we're about to have a big vote, and I've got a lot of favour for once, which is pretty cool. I'd like to do city centre buildings, because that is something very important to me. I'm settling a huge amount of cities, and new districts by me count as culture bombs. That helps me just to settle new things really quickly. I think I've won both of those, actually. Yes, I did. Right, that's really, really handy. Oh, Hercules is dead as well, which means I can immediately go and summon him back in and just use him to really help with those new cities that I'm just founding. Um, like Cleveland, for instance, which I don't know why I'm not doing the holy site on that one first. That's a bit weird. Never mind. Um, but yeah, I can use him to sort of pop around everywhere. I've got another writer. Another writer. Oh, it's wonderful. 
And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Midnight Oil, Trafford Askby, Paul Coffey, Senjik, and Kroger Brand Trail Mix for all of your support on Patreon. Thank you very much.